Well, there's only one left, and it's Bryce Harper, and everyone's talking about, oh, what a great decision Manny Machado went to the Padres. Oh, it's such a fucking great fit. You know, they have the best farm in baseball. They're going to be good one day. Well, it's not guaranteed. Who knows? They could be fucking asshole for 10 years, and no one would be surprised. If I'm Bryce Harper... Yeah, the Phillies looks pretty enticing. Yeah, the Giants could be a good team. But why the fuck is no one, like, predicting that he's just going to go back to Washington? He already knows everyone there. It's not going to be a transition. It's just going to be a re-sign. And all I'm hearing is all these young prospects, blah, 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 blah. Juan Soto and Victor Robles are going to be in that fucking outfield with you. How does that sound? Harper, Robles, Soto. Sounds very fucking delicious to me. Uh, they added Patrick Corbin. Oh, man. Scherzer, Strasburg, Corbin. Come on. That's unfair. They added Brian Dozier. They added Kurt Suzuki. They ended up, added a bunch of... They just got deeper... And, I mean, they have the money. Why would you not? And I understand if they don't want to give you $325 million, then you might say no. But if they do, why would, you, why would you not go there? You've been there forever. You've been there an entire career. You know you can win there, and they have young talent. The biggest part for me is you know you can win there because you've been in the playoffs multiple times and with Corbin and if Dozier can have a bounce back year because it's pretty hard to have a year as bad as he just had and Juan Soto and Robles and I mean I'm looking at man I could win a fucking championship here and I know this place they can give me money it's not a transition I know this ballpark what that's it seems obvious to me